Hi, my name's Matt. I write electronic music under the name Retract, and this is some of my setup. So a lot of the music I write tends to be a combination of found sounds or live recorded stuff or samples and kind of all mixed together. Um, and one of the things I use on a lot of my tracks is the solid state logic fusion, which is kind of an analog mix master processor. So you kind of put it on the output of the final mix and it, it just gives it a really nice kind of analog warmth and, and finish to the tracks. I bought the Fusion um, mainly on the basis that Solid State Logic have got a really good heritage about the name. They build brilliant consoles and I wanted some really nice analog outboard gear that I could help with just the kind of the final mix processing. Um, and the Fusion does exactly that. What I really love about the Fusion is the bypass button so it works in the same way as uh, I would use a plugin where I can kind of A, B the sound to, to see if it's doing what I want it to do and see if it's improving that sound. And then with analog gear, being able to A, B that processing is just an absolute dream. Uh, for me, using a lot of electronic music, um, it gets kind of lost in a digital world. So you get a kind of a very digital sounding thing. So for me, using analog gear is very important to try and bring some of that warmth in, which is also why I use a lot of real instruments just to try and give it a bit more of an organic sound uh, and kind of pushing away from the electronic edge. So it's, it's still electronic music, but because of that, you're getting a lot nicer sound and it's a lot more of a rounded, rounded feel to the music. So I'll just have a quick look through uh, kind of what processing the Fusion's got. Um, Firstly, the input trim, which is kind of standard on, on most analog uh, gear. It's got an output trim and an input trim. So once the processing's done, you can kind of keep that level by bypassing and unbypassing. You can keep the rough level of, of what it should be. So you're not kind of distorting on any input or output. Um, a high pass filter, which is really handy for just for knocking off uh, sub 50 hertz frequencies. So you're not really going to hear with your ears, but is going to affect subharmonics of the track when you're when you're kind of doing the mix processing. Um, there's a vintage drive, which is amazing because it is analog. You can really give it some drive and you won't get digital distortion, but it will give just a nice warm analog crunch to it. Uh, a lovely EQ, which is kind of low end EQ and high end EQ, but you also have a selector on what kind of K input you want. So whether you want it kind of plus 16K or plus 20K on the EQ. There's a high frequency compressor, which compresses once you've added those high end EQs on the Violet EQ, you can then try and compress them to bring them back down, but you just keep the shine on the compressor basically. Uh, the main thing I love about the Fusion is the stereo imager. So you have uh, space and width. Now, the stereo imager basically splits the audio signal into mid and side. So rather than left and right, you've got the mid mono signal and the side stereo signal, which is still two channels, but they're just processed very differently. Uh, the width controller on this just gives you volume control of the stereo image. So you can literally just turn up how wide you want the image. And then the space control gives you some stereo width into the bass or kind of, because most of the time processing kick drums are in mono, bass lines are in mono. You can actually add a little bit of stereo image into that bottom end and it won't outphase the track but you'll just get a really nice big warm thick wide sound so because it's uh, analog gear um you kind of have to record the processing in so i kind of root all of my project out to a stereo bus, which then goes through the fusion, which then I can then record back into my door, which makes you commit to the processing that you do, but it also kind of makes you make those fundamental decisions and not faff with it for a long time, which I kind of like. Uh, so that's the fusion and that's kind of how I use it in my tracks. It's a great tool. Um, as, like I say, that mix master processing, uh, the analog sound you get from it is incredible. I could sit and talk about it all day, but um, yeah, I should probably wrap it up. So if you do want any more information, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. And thank you so much to BBC Introducing for having me because it's, yeah, it's been a blast. Thanks. Mm -hmm.